Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle D. I'm a reader with a certificate and also comparing everything to other secret sciences. Um, on my readings and analysis, you can find more information on my channel. My films are in English, in German and in Polish language, mostly in Polish and in English. Uh, no, and in German language, but you can um, always um, book also a session for you and uh, you can just write me an email because of that for more information. You first receive the information and then you can book a reading or not. All right, so this is like, like this. And uh, I'm also an, an artist and I'm doing music and in the end of my videos are uh, mostly also, or is mostly um, a piece of music as well. So you can just, you know, listen to the end or move this video back and forth. Well, these are now your symbols. So we got now the question. Why do they or why did they ghost me? Why do I ghost them? Why, you know, uh, the contact is uh, interrupted? Why we don't have any contact? What's behind that? Yeah. Uh, how um, how are, still, are, are they still feeling for me? Or um, what do they think? And actually, you can also ask for colleagues. You can ask here also for friends, not only for lovers. But just think about the person that you're thinking of or you can uh, put another person to every pile how you want it to, yeah? So this is the first pile, this is the second pile and this is the third pile. And just choose the stone that feels um, most familiar to you or you feel just drawn to. If you need more time for your choice, then please stop the video. And I'm going to start now with the first pile. So this is your pile. And uh, your person here, it doesn't matter uh, yeah, if that, that's your partner or friend or anything or colleague or something. Your person has actually the personality card for him or herself. And uh, the cancer, that's the cancer. And, un and I associate the cancer as somebody very um, sensitive and, just, and also a home. So maybe this is home related. Maybe you share a home. Maybe it's a family, family member. Maybe this is your partner. Somebody that's, uh, that means for you home in one way or one form or the other. Yeah. And on the other hand, that can be a very sensitive person um, and is really, you know, protective, a very protective person, but it's also protecting him or herself. How do they see you? Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Empress. And they see you when you are a woman, very positive. So when you are a woman, they think that you really... You're worth a lot. You are very much a high value woman. Maybe you earn good money. Maybe you deserve nice presents. Anything like that. And also the Empress. You could be also a very good mother. And really as a, as a queen that really deserves a lot from life. And from him if this is love. Uh, on the other hand, if uh, this is something related to, to any kind of job or project or so, they really think very highly of you. On the other hand, that could be also that they also think that you have some dark side too. <laughs> but I believe that this is just, if there is a little dark side, I must tell you, maybe this is more... Um, this is not that bad. I think that gives the pepper into the dish. You know what I mean? It makes the spice up. So something like that. Just something like that. Uh, it could be also if that's work related that they find you a little bit risky with money. I don't know. But this is a very, very general reading. So just please take or just uh, take that of the reading that you find appropriate, that fits to your situation, because I read here for a lot of people. And if you need really something specific only to your situation, then please just book a private reading. But first, you know, you can just ask for the information and then book after or not book. So this is just up to you. 
And um, what do they feel for you? Very interesting. And I, with a combination here, Queen of Swords and the High Priestess, for me that means that this is a woman that can manifest anything because she is cool enough to cut feelings off which are blocking the manifestation. For example, you want to manifest something specific into your life. So, you know, you just have to also be patient and not let every crap into your life because when you accept something lower vibrational that can, you know, bring you away from that what you wanted to manifest. And the Queen of Swords, um, she doesn't do that. So the Queen of Swords is just thinking like, hey, I accept this one or this way or this this path and my way or the highway actually. And I'm not that emotional to, you know, bring myself away of that wish. And the High Priestess knows exactly how to you know, how to become this, that, how to get this or that, how to reach your goal because, you know, the third eye is open and everything just goes, yeah? So this is a very highly intelligent also in, um, combination here. And this is what they feel for you. Well, they have respect like crazy for you, I must tell you. Yeah? And he maybe wants a family with you if this is any kind of um, love reading here for you. But on the other hand, also bosses, and so they think that you are very intelligent and so. And, you know, if you don't have a project with somebody anymore, which is job-related, they maybe think, like, you will, you know, you will be successful anyway. Yeah. And... Do you guys will come together again in which way or form ever, right? In your situation, the world, the Ace of Cups, and here the balance. You will find a balance in a difficult situation maybe. Some healthy balance, you know? Some healthy solution to um, your manifestations or to anything what you want to... Uh, what you actually deserve, what you have to give, just the balance in give and take I see here very much. I see here also a chance on love and the world. And if not with this person, yeah, you will just have this kind of relationship or this kind of luck that you wanted to in a new form. That could be also one one way or the other. But they really think highly of you. They are maybe, you know, they maybe protect themselves a lot. Could be also. Mm. Okay. So, and now let's move to the second pile. So that was the rose quartz. And here we go with the second pile. So we got here as the first information. It's in German, but I'm going to translate these cards. And it's about talking, speeches... Uh, telling somebody something about communication. Maybe you have to communicate with this person. Maybe it's important that you communicate in one form or the other. Maybe you always wanted to communicate in one form or the other. Maybe you want to say something to a group of people. Maybe you want to um, say something to a big crowd of people. Maybe you want to sing a song. Yeah, Everything which has to do with messages... And with communication is important here. Because you got something important to say that can help other people. Yeah. And that can be for some of you really something big that you have really step on stage and really open your mouth there and really say what you have to say. Or you have to communicate with this particular person and have to call or something. Uh, or you have to sing a song. This is how I interpret that. And just take that what resonates with you, please. And how do they see you? Wow, again, the Empress. So we had in pile one the Empress. This is interesting. And the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. They see you that you're really also a very high-value personality. They just think that you deserve really a lot, that you receive a lot, that you are very, very much this high-value uh, personality here. And that stuff that you want to manifest or people that you want to have in your circle, it will just come like this, you know. 
Also very high value here, also very beautiful, yeah, also pile one had this really, um, also very much like finding you also very beautiful and all of that, yeah. So what do they feel? They feel that they are maybe not that ready for you yet or they just have some problems to resolve or just to solve here but they feel very highly passionate about you very sexual here very driven towards you uh, if that's any kind of project or friendship i just see that there is something that they try to forget or there is something that happens between you guys which is maybe not easy or so but um they still have the passion they still want to be friends with you they still want to be active with you if it's about love and so then this is really passionate but not yet the time to really make moves forward or just steps together right but there is feelings and really a high thinking here about you and do you guys come together yes for sure yes for sure but it maybe takes time yeah there is stuff healing under the surface i cannot tell you how much time but it may um you know take some time because we got them here in the reverse but I don't believe that it will take that long because we really have here also very fast cards, A of um, Wands, we got here the Ace. And I believe that it will be not that long time that you guys are gonna see each other again, right? All right, so that was pile number two, thank you. How to book a personal reading, my email address is um, in the info box. You can just, you know, ask me for some information about the readings and then you decide if we're gonna have a reading together or not and this was now the third pile so the third pile we got here integration respect the uh, fear of the other because the other has maybe some fear about money or anything like that or um a existence is actually here the key word and you will know about whom i talk and which relationship you are here together if it's love related or more friendship or work or something yeah they actually are afraid to lose something yeah to lose themselves in, in something or in any kind of situation how do they see you they see that you are a very skeptical person here, that you are not easily opening to other people, but still you are open to others and you still have an open heart and you are very much like very uh, a, a very good communicator, but you can be skeptical at the same time. And they find you very attractive too if it's about love. Yeah? Attractive and very communicative and very much like maybe they're even a little bit in love, but here we have the feelings and they are mm, They are angry I don't know what happened. Maybe you guys, you know, were in a group or something and that there was some anger around or anything and they feel very angry mm. We got the fool here This is very weird let me just think about it, which messages are coming. They maybe find you a little bit naive in a way and they feel angry. But on the other hand, they think that you could be also a very good candidate to have a family together. Hmm. And they may be angry that, that this will not happen with them. This is a little bit something that comes to my mind if, when I see these cards. But it could be also that they find find you quite naive. And that makes them angry because you know you have you know a lot of people and you communicate with a lot of people, but maybe they think that you communicate the wrong things, yeah. <laughs> this is just what what's coming here. But let me just clear that a little bit. What do they think about your way of communication? Yeah, in one will form or the other. What do they think about it? They just think that you that you don't know so much, but on the other hand, you are very skeptical, which is actually good, right? But I need so yeah. 
This is very, very interesting because they think that you... We are gonna get the star here, so that means that they they just don't find you really naive because we have the, the Queen of Swords. We got just have here a lot of anger. And I believe that this is maybe just your feeling or your anger that they feel more. And they maybe th see that this is because of children and because of family. Maybe you guys have a family together or you don't have a family and that hurts you in a way. And you don't accept the love. Yeah. But please take that what resonates with you, please. Yeah. That's what I see. They maybe see that you wanna wanna have a baby or something like that, or wanna have a family, and you're angry because of that, because you don't have that. It could be something that they think or feel. Because I don't see that they think that you're super naive and you're talking bullshit or something like that. No. Okay? So you guys maybe... They are kind of observing you. And if it's about love, what do they feel for you? Yeah. If, you know, honestly, they don't really care. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. When you're maybe super in love with them, it's maybe not your message or not that, that what you want to hear. But I just, just sense that they don't really care. Yeah like physically for you or um, on a soul level or anything or on a sexual level, on a love, let's say love related level. I don't see that so much. Okay. So do you guys get together? Yeah, you will have contact again. Maybe there is also an op opportunity to work together in a way or to have a higher level and to free each other in one form or the other. Maybe there would be also a potential for love, the lovers, when you get to know each other better. That could be also the case, yeah? Can you make it happen that you guys, if this is love? Yeah. Mm, you know what? I think if, if this is a guy, he's as the king of cups, um, he likes to be in love in general. And not only with you, and this is more about projects together or work and nothing else, really. This is what's coming up, okay? So thank you a lot. Also, pile number three. I hope that that um, what was something good for you to hear. If it's about love, you know, hmm, you know, these are like general readings. Um, it's no um, coincidence that you landed up here. I'm just honest what I see in the cards. I'm not making anything up. I'm, you know, straight to the point. We know it from ourselves. We like somebody or we don't, right? And this is what's also showing up in the cards. When you know some super deep um, soulmate um, information are in the cards, I'm telling them too. But if they're not, then they're not. And I'm not telling, you know, I'm not selling anything beyond the truth. This is it, yeah? If you would like to have a personal reading to really see if this is really your reading, then just please um, send me a message and there are all information. I I send you via email the information how to book a reading and uh, yeah you can book or not so this is just for information and not for purchase thank you a lot for watching sharing liking and for subscribing my videos and uh, yeah now there will be a little song for you guys just stay tuned subscribe to my channel and see you in the next pick a card reading uh, just uh, check out my channel I got there also German and Polish videos, so um, English too, but mostly Polish and German because there are, you know, all my clients and I started with these languages and, but anyway, so, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Bye bye, that was Michelle, now have fun with the song. I took a trip on a train and I thought about you. Past a shadow real and I thought about.
about you Two or three cars parked under the stars I want in the stream Moon shining down on some little town and with each beam same old dream at every stop that we made oh i thought about you and when i pulled down the shade then i really felt blue Through the crack and looked at the track that was going back to you. And what would I do? I thought about you. you 